Sunny and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a new launch by NYX and it is a pre-filter eyeshadow palette. Today I'm going to try out, play with it, see how does it actually work and a little bit talk about this, the pigmentation and every stuff what the eyeshadow should be included in so this is a video which was requested by niti she is one of my sweet subscriber so here's the video niti it took me a little longer time sorry for that kind of you know trapped in some kind of an issue so yeah uh, today i have been like let's do this video so i'm here and if you're new to my channel don't forget to go and hit the subscribe button as well as go and click that small bell icon so that you will be always updated whenever i post a video so yeah and i think i shouldn't be most blah 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 kind of a thing and let's get try with the video today i'm going to talk about this palette this is a nyx perfect filter palette it comes in four different shades and every shades are just mind-blowing but i want this shade because uh, it has a warm uh, plump kind of shade and i do not have that kind of eyeshadow with me so i picked up this and it cost around 1500 rupees i know this quite pricey but you know i won't be saying that yeah go this is a perfect palette and go and purchase this if you can purchase this palette you can go through it so yeah today i just want to play with this look how the pigmentations and how the eyeshadows work whether it's blends or not and every stuff so yeah let's see 10 shades here uh, which is perfect uh, one thing which I have been noticed here is that they do not include a mirror here which Makeup Revolution have mirrors like even this small palette which comes with a bronzer and highlighter they have a mirror and I think every uh, shadow or every palette they have they include a mirror in this but we do not get a mirror here so that turns out to be a little bit difficult for me like you know I have to put this eyeshadow here and then I have to work it take a mirror and then working out with that so that might be sound little extra work is included there um, it's contained uh, 1.77 gram of a product here let me swatch a few shades for you guys and then I'm gonna directly move on with my work four shades which is matte and then we have which are extremely uh, glittery kind of shadows and these two shades is kind of a very mild uh, you know shades like they have a shimmers but they are like kind of a mild which you can easily work if you want to work into your crease line so before starting up this video i have concealed my eyes over this concealer so i do not need anything now i'm gonna take this shade and dust it all over my eyelid if we see we do not get any kind of a fallout here which is pretty good and they have a good pigmentation of the color so I'm dusting it here like this and it do not have any kind of follow so you can see that as you can see I have set my base very well over that shadow and now I'm gonna move on with this orange shade here and I'm gonna place it onto my creases very well and again let me show you whether they have a kind of a fallout or not and they do not include any kind of a dash like any kind of a fall when we dig this brush into that pan so yeah just like this i'm focusing up here at the corner first and then i'm gonna move on into the inner word direction i have nothing on my mind like I do not have anything on my mind what I'm gonna create. I'm just working it, going with the flow and see and let's see what does I come across with. So as you can see the eyeshadows are really blending very perfectly. Nothing is harsh and the key is to blend up well. So as you can see I've done this well and now you can see that orange is looking so good like too good uh, so yeah this is how I done next I'm gonna move on with I'm gonna place this shade all over my eyelid this is a kind of a burgundy kind of a shade and yeah 
I'm gonna place it all over my eyelid. This pencil brush. And it again do not have any kind of fallout. You can see. I hope you can see. Placing it just not above the crease line, it just below the crease line. Now I'm gonna smudge it a little bit. Like I'm gonna blend that all little bit. And then I'm gonna move on with a clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend that all in. Make sure you blend because if you blend everything will look clean, neat and blendable. So make sure you blend that very well. Now again I'm gonna move on with the orange shade and I'm gonna work it on my crease. Make sure everything is clean and blend. Really loving this. Again I'm gonna move on with that burgundy shade and tap it all over my eyelid just like this. This look is exactly like a kind of a shun set look. Some of orange, reddish, plum color. It's looking nice. As you can see, I've done all the blending part and every stuff. Now on with this pink shade which has a little bit of a shimmers but not exactly a very high shimmer. It's a very soft mild kind of an eyeshadow which has a little bit of a shimmer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that shade on my fingers, like on my finger and I will tap it very gently. Yeah, now you can see this, how good that looks. The next thing comes about to get blend up well. So I'm blending it here very well. So yeah, this is what I have done. And next, I am going to move on with this brush, a pencil brush. I'm going to take a one with this shade, place it at my inner corners because that shade is really very really perfect to you know highlight your inner corner as well as your brow bone. I'm gonna go with that shade. Place it exactly at the corner of my eyes. Oh my god, look at that. That is so good. I'm gonna place it there and I'm gonna go it on my brow bone because that look pretty good. So for my low, lower lash line, I'm going to take that same brown burgundy shade here. Place it at the lower lash line. Just exactly like this. Mix it here a little bit. Take a orange shade which I have been applied it onto my crease line, and I'm gonna smudge that all. In. So I have completed my one eye, and you have seen how good that look. Oh my god, I'm really obsessed, and I'm living for this eyeshadow palette. Let me complete my another eye and I will be right back. So uh, yeah, this is how I have created this look. I hope you are really loving this look. So I have done this uh, kind of a sunset uh, plum color kind of a look and this is how it turns out. Yeah, let's talk a little bit and my thoughts about this palette. This palette is worth the penny. You can easily invest 1500 rupees in this palette. You will get what you want. You can create uh, many freaking looks with this palette. Oh my god. This palette is something which now I'm gonna be obsessed. They blend so easily. They do not have any fallout on your face. As you can see, I do not have anything. I haven't brushed, I haven't powdered. Everything is exactly like this. No fallout, nothing, nothing. So I would highly recommend if someone out there is searching of a good palette as well as a good quality as well as a good drugstore palette, move on to this next perfect filter. This is gonna be like your not exactly your savior but something which you will get obsessed with so i really love this palette it kind of put uh, like you know it's quite a little high but i think it's worth the penny and this is the way i have created the look and i hope you will really loved and you enjoyed this so yeah this is what the palette i really love this 
and I am really, really looking forward to use this palette more on my makeup tutorials, create something crazy look, so which I did today, like a kind of a plump sunset look, which I'm obsessed. So yeah, this is what the video is all about. This is like a thumbs up for me. Nothing, no issue, no problem. The one issue was the mirror. You have to get your mirror with, you know, you have to carry your mirror. Just one exact thing I want to say. Rather than that, wow. So yeah, this is what the video is all about. I hope you have really loved this small, sweet review. So yeah, if you really want to see anything, let me know in the comment box below whether you like it or not. Do thumbs up, do thumbs down. Everything is like fair enough, whatever you think in your basis. And I have my own thought on my basis. So yeah, this is all the video. I hope you have really loved and enjoyed. I'm coming up with a more exciting things. I might be too late because you know I was a little bit quite a busy because it's a festive season right now. So yeah, without further ado, I will stop my video here and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.